What's up guys, welcome to Ben Isel Guy, and this is another unboxing of the iPod Classic 80 gigabyte version. Now, this was already unboxed, so this is just like my previous unboxings, which was the unboxing of the Sony Vio F series, the VPC F2, as well as the original Xbox 360. This week is going to be all about unboxing, so the next three days is just going to be unboxings of products that I have laying around. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Um, the 80 gigabyte is actually discontinued right now, so you're not going to get this black box as you would now currently. The iPod Classic is selling at $249 with 160 gigabytes of storage, and it's in a white box. So, here's the front of the device on the top. Here's the side. That's the side of the device. 80 gigabyte iPod Classic, 80 gigabyte upside down, as well as some information right here. What it comes with, what are the requirements, yada yada yada. All right, so let's get to the unboxing right here. And as you can see, in the inside of the box, you do have this foam padding right here. Actually, ever since the iPhone 3GS, they stopped putting the foam in here. Okay, and we got the iPod Classic right here. Try to put it back in the original wrapping. I was unsuccessful at that. Let's put it over here. In the box, get rid of this tray right here. Under this flap, it's basically all your documentation, you know, iPod Classic Quick Start Guide, warranty information, as well as an Apple sticker, or it should be two Apple stickers, but I used one and then threw it out. <laughs> but who, who needs the documentation? So we can forget that. All right, and here's the back that it originally came in. I try to make it seem like it was all sealed in with this little piece here. All right, whatever. Um, in this bag right here, you'll get a set of headphones, which these aren't the original headphones that I came with in the iPod Classic. These are actually the headphones that came with the iPod Touch 4th generation, and of course, they don't last as long. That's the thing with these Apple headphones. As well as the USB cable, which I currently use for my iPhone and the iPod. But unfortunately, the one thing I don't like about this cable design is that if you take a look, it has this uh, button design right here. You actually see right here, I got a crack. So, I'm not very fond of that kind of design. Nothing else in the box, so we'll just toss that aside. And here is the iPod Classic itself. Now, this did came with a universal dock, but I currently can't find it, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but I have the wrapper sticked on there. So, there's the iPod Classic. This is in silver, so you have the click wheel right here. You have the screen right here. On the left and right side of the device, you have nothing. On the top, you have your hold switch right here. So, when you're trying to control the menu system on the iPod, you won't be able to use it when it's on hold, as well as your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as well as your 30 pin dock connector port. Let's do a size comparison here next to the iPhone 3GS, as well as the iPhone 3G, although to be exact, this is the iPhone 3G. And as you can see, the iPhone is definitely a little bit thicker than the iPod Classic. Anyway guys, this was an unboxing of the iPod Classic 80 gigabyte. Leave a comment down below on what do you think about this iPod or do you still have it? And subscribe for more videos like this. YouTube.com slash Ben Guy. And for more updates, follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Ben Guy. And I will see you guys in the next video.